Hey, it's Joshua here with another edition of Mortgage Clarity. And this video is kind of an update to a video I sent out earlier. You might uh, recall a few months ago, there's a um, issue around where FHFA, who oversees Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, decided they wanted to make things more expensive for borrowers by changing how they assess risk or what they call loan level price adjustments or LLPAs. Again, you can check that email out down below. Within that, one of the changes they were doing was they were adding a new hit to borrowers who had debt ratios over 40%. So compared to whatever your situation was on your loan, if your debt ratio is more than 40%, you pay more for your rate. Uh, now, the market you know, lenders and stuff did not like that. And, and we put up a big a resistance to that because there's all kinds of issues when it comes to trying to calculate debt ratios, given that a lot of times there's a lot of gray area in how income is calculated. And so a lender tries to sometimes be conservative if they don't need to get that number to make the file work. Well, now that debt ratio can impact that, that cost for the borrower. There's a whole nother liability to the lender as far as making sure it's right. And again, on a lot of income, it's not cut and dry. So fortunately, uh, all the, the complaining, that was the feedback that people are going to the congressmen and stuff like that, it was heard. They have since rescinded that. So that's great. That's the first one. Now, there's still pressure going. And for those of you who like to you know, reach out to congressmen and stuff and put pressure, there's still a fight to address this whole idea of the way they've readjusted the risk. Um, they did it with this idea, what they're saying, which I just, I'm sorry, I don't buy it. But they're saying that they're making these changes because they're going to use essentially their core demographic who will pay more for their rates and giving the benefit to those with lowest down payments of 3% or low credit scores by helping improve those rates. Now, again, I don't buy it because in most cases, there's a few on the 3% down. There are a few borrowers who might actually benefit from this. But all the other borrowers, like looking at clients, those areas where you saw improvement in pricing, FHA was still a better loan for the client. And so why go conventional and pay more, even if it's a little bit cheaper than it was, it's still more than FHA. So the battle's not over. Hopefully we can continue to get some um, rollback on this because I really do think it's a um, it's a harmful to the consumer. It's not beneficial. And um, I just don't see the benefit there. So uh, that's the update now. If you have questions, uh, put them in the comments or just comments, put them down there in the, the comment section. Hit thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, have a great day.